Man, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. We down 10 because the coach decides to sub me out in the first quarter. Like, come on, man. I'm the king. Look at this. Look, you can't even stop Kobe. Look at that. Come on, man. I got Kobe for the rest of the game, man. He killing you. Yo, what's going on everybody, it's Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube, and today I'm bringing you guys the Western Conference Finals Game 1 against the Los Angeles Lakers. It's about to go down in the Staples Center, you already know how we rock, it's Portland against LA. Now, after you see this tip off, you're going to wonder why I'm so ecstatic, it's because I finally got to connect, which means you will be seeing a lot of gameplays from me with me calling plays, me cursing at the connect, me having total rage, but right here, right now... It's only one type of rage on my mind, and that's the LA Lakers. Now, I've played this game. I've dropped the live commentary. You've heard it in the beginning clip. But there's one thing you cannot stop on this Lakers team, and that's everybody. I don't care who you guard. Everybody is nice on this team. Their starting five are all-stars. It's nothing you can do. They don't have Artest in their starting five. They have Antoine Jameson, an easily 20-10 and 10 man in his own right. It's ridiculous playing the LA Lakers on my career mode. Now, you can see that I'm trying to keep up steadily with running plays, but I'm going to tell you this right here, right now. Running plays ain't going to be enough, and I'm going to tell you why. When you run plays against a team that's always out on the break, always have somebody lurking, like, check out this play right here. Check out the nice screen. He didn't even pick me. He just wanted to get to the room for a nice alley-oop. What computer team do you know besides Los Angeles teams to run the high pick and roll and make it effective? It's so crazy how this game runs, but check me out on this nice play right here. I'm going to hit my boy and cut back door for a nice alley-oop. I can't tell y'all how great it feels to catch alley-oop passes, man. I'm so short. I When I first started my, my career, I thought uh, he ain't going to catch no oops. But man, when I got maxed out, Everything changed. I started catching oops. I started hitting shots. Couldn't miss. I couldn't. I couldn't do no wrong. But check out Kobe, man, abusing Batum. It's nothing you can do to stop Kobe. Trust me. Look at the score. It's 32 to 19. I'm trying everything I can. And guess what? I go back to. I go back to my automata, man. Quick isolation plays. Get into the rack. All contact. No fouls. But, hey, I can't complain. The refs don't like me. We're in L.A., so we're not going to get the calls we usually get. But check out the nice pass and the give and go between me and Drummond. Did you see that stand-up dunk? Hold on. Check the vertical. Check my vert. I know it ain't as tall as me flying high, but, hey, that's a nice dunk for a 6-1 point guard. But like I said before, man, we're on a fight back. L.A., oh, man, they just can't be stopped. I tried everything. I tried so many defensive sets. I tried man-to-man. -man. I tried half-court press. I tried 2-3. I tried 2-3. I even tried a 1-3-1. That's how desperate I got. That's how ugly it was getting early. But you already know what I had to do to try to make a dent into their game. I had to start scoring. I had to start throwing the assists out the window because every time I passed it, it seemed like guys were just Superman glitching to my passes. It's like the passing lanes closed up the minute the ball left my hands. But did you see Kobe Bryant just get used and abused by me right there? That's what happens when you start going off on teams. When you start scoring, they think that it's predictable that you will shoot the lights out, so they got to jump. I made Kobe look a little young boyish on that play, but it's all good. But he did get me back with that foul. He's going to the line for two, and you already know he's knocking it down. But me, myself, I don't give up. And you want to know why? Because I shoot when I need to. Yeah, you know what I told him in the stable center, man. If you don't got your electricity right, I'm going to turn them lights out. You feel me? But check me out cutting to the basket. I could have swore I had that dunk. But when you do stuff like that and you miss, look how long it takes you to get back on D. And by that... The Kobe can just go off, man. It's the Black Mamba. If you don't get back down court on time, it's going down. But like I said before, man, I can run the shooting guard position a little bit, come off screens, run certain play types. But, man, I'll tell you, it ain't nothing like playing L.A. in L.A. Look at this, man. We got to fight for rebounds. It's the Towers versus the Towers. But check us out on this play right here. I'm going to show you what I do. Kobe getting used and abused. I know you like that play. I know you like that play. But look, this is one thing I could tell you about the Lakers. Coming down, 
Kobe on the last possession of the game. I got to guard him. Look at what happens to a 6'1 point guard up against a 6'6 shooting guard named the Black Mamba, man. Now, presented by Sprint. Things can't get more serious than this. The conference finals have begun, and let's check out what's going on. The Los Angeles Lakers in front against Portland. They're looking to make a statement in game one and set the tone for the series. Dwight Howard absolutely lights out. How's that for a shooting percentage? A hundred. Yes, 100% from the court. Not too bad. And for Portland's angle, they've been grinding away. They've been a terror in transition, dicing up the D on the open court. The captain dominating the first two quarters. At the break, 21 points and is also helping set the table. Who's ready to eat? And that's all we have for you here in the studio. Now let's send it on back to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. Now that we're back into the second half, it's one thing I got to say real quick. Pop the molly, I'm sweating. Woo! It's time for me to get turned up. I got to turn the burners on. If I don't do what I need to do for my team to win this game, we're going to lose horribly. So with that being said, I tried to do everything. I tried to break ankles. I tried to make accurate passes. You can see right there that they didn't go down. I hawked people down and took their cookies. I had to do everything I could to win this game. I was even throwing outlet passes. Me, myself, I'm not an outlet pass type of guy. I like to come down, set up the offense, but I had to do anything in order to score. Now, one thing I said I wouldn't do until late in the game if I was down was cheese the computer. Now, you're going to see a couple plays, a couple cheese plays from me because that's what you got to do to win the game. Now, I'm going to show you right here that passing does work in this game, but I didn't press the bounce pass button. I just pressed the pass button and over and somehow, some way that pass went down. But you can see from the score, we're still down 10. They still got the ball and Kobe is still going off. You can't stop this guy. He is the mid-range king of NBA 2K. No matter what you do, you can't stop his mid-range jump shots, man. He's made millions in my face, literally millions. But coming back down on my type plays, this is what I do. Turn out the lights. Hey, I got to turn out the lights. They didn't pay their bill. I'm shooting these jump shots. They definitely cash. You see, I got the KDs on. If I got them plus five three-point shot shoes on, you know they going down. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? I tried to pull this one in Kobe's face, but it didn't work. And check what Kobe did to me, man. He made me look like a fool. He said, yeah, young boy, go ahead and jump for that. I'm already out. I'm already dunking and you still jumping. <laughs> But he ain't even stretched though. <laughs> but it is what it is. But check it out, guys. Let's let's look at this score right here. It's 85 to 92. Now remember that cheese play I was telling you guys about that I gotta pull out my shoes. Now remember the computer, they make three-point shots all day long. So I could have ran that play every possession and got the playoff and wesley matthews can have about 60 points right now if you run a three-point shooting play for your teammates it's guaranteed to go down it's that simple and sometimes if you even run three-point plays for yourself they go down just like right here you see me going around the screens shooting it up and i'm turning out the lights let's get in the fourth the latest issue of the sporting news now in print and digital the captain appearing on the front cover, starting on a playoff contender. He's a name on the rise. As the fourth quarter gets rolling here, let's check out our Sprite Uncontainable Game. Let's go to Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Thanks, Kevin. And it's the Lakers with the Uncontainable Game Award for the offensive stretch they put together. The third quarter is when they took the reins of this game and they haven't given them back. You have to like their chances as we head to the fourth period. Doris, thank you. And what a concerted effort they put together tonight. All right, guys. Now that we're into the fourth quarter, this is one thing I will say about this quarter. This was the best, the most anticipated, the most exciting, the most exhilarating quarter I have ever played on NBA 2K13. And this is why. I'm going up against the LA Lakers. We already know that. But this was the most challenge I have ever had. When I mean going bucket for bucket, trying so hard not to make any mistakes, playing blacktop, quick matches, all-star weekend, playing online does not compare to this quarter. But I'm going to give you guys a little bit of words of encouragement. You can't be too friendly to the competition. And this is why. When you start getting friendly, little things like this happen. You dish out and you start getting friendly to the guys that you guard. Now, me, myself, 
I'm the type of player to say, man, I'm not letting my guy score. But sometimes when you look at the superstars going off, you want to lend a helping hand. So with that being said, I'm not giving any help. I'm not being friendly. I'm going to be a ruthless player and I'm going to win this game. Now, Lillard is back at the point. For what reason, I don't know. But I can only do what I do. So I'm running off the screen and I'm... Okay guys, there's somebody I would like y'all to meet and his name is Ruthless King Carter. And when I mean ruthless, I mean totally ruthless. Check out this play right here. I had Drummond wide open in the corner, but I wasn't even sure he would make the shot. I wasn't even 60% sure he would make the shot. So sometimes you got to go for buckets. Sometimes you got to pass up certain teammates and I know who to give it to when I need somebody to shoot. Now, Steve Nash, I don't know why he would go in on a one-on-five it looked like in the backcourt. But you know me, man. I'm running the quick isolation. We have to get buckets. It's only right. There's nothing else in my playbook that I want to do more than get buckets. That's like the main thing on the top page in the corner scribbled in every note. Get buckets. <laughs> it's that simple. But check out how ruthless Kobe is. Kobe took the inside track to the paint. He knew I was too far in the paint. And that pass was so great by Steve Nash. I commend him on that. But you know what? I come back with a vengeance, always. Now check out this play right here. This is what happens when one person picks three times straight. Look at that, look at the jump shot. I don't even know how it was that wide open. I know Kobe and Howard was pissed, but I play stellar defense as well. In the fourth quarter, I start going off. I start jumping more. I start reaching in for steals more. I try to win the game. And when things like this happen with a mismatch, I got to take advantage. It's that simple. And why would Steve Nash even think? Think about taking a charge. Why? Look at him. Look at him slide over and try to take a charge. I'm going to the basket, fella. I'm not worried about your charge. But the game is still tied up. And you know me, right? I got to go with what I know. So I'm going with some of the cheesiest plays. Because y'all said quick isolation, waiting for him to double team is cheese. Well, look, I'm running plays now in order to get my three-pointers. I'm running backdoor screens, full press, full court, half court, all types of different sets, man, just to win the game. Look at me. I'm calling defensive plays. I'm calling full court press. I want people to D up. That's how bad I want things to happen. Now, this is one of those plays that disgust me. He tries to pass to Kobe on the inside and throws it out of bounds. I don't even know how 2K makes that possible. The passer was wide open. The person that was trying to catch the offensive pass was fairly open. But you see me running my plays, man. I'm coming down playing hot potato right now. Not sure what was going to happen, but you see the nice pump fake. It was only right that I go in and dunk on a few Lakers. You know what I'm saying? You got to be ruthless. I don't even want to see my vertical right now. I just want to win the game. It's 15 seconds left. It's, a, it's what? Five points between us, but now it's only three because they made a shot. But it looks like it comes down to the last play, and you know how I am with the defense. Even though I jumped late, I still was in Steve Nash's face, and we won the game, y'all. So, thanks for watching. I'm going to see y'all in game two. Greg Oden didn't pan out, so they drafted iPod. David Carter, perfect picture like a tripod. A point guard that delivers like Papa John's. Me drafted as the front page topic. I'm Philly Pride, Team Villanova. Finesse game, but the heart of a soldier. When I go to the rack, there's no stopping me. Better bring a double team, better stand properly. <laughs> On defense, move your feet Taking the blaze to the chip to abuse the heat I was raised like a crip cause I ruled the street Not the court, the blacktop, the moves, the heat Pull off, it's like the late, great, great Magic Johnson I got drafted 11, that was nonsense Name a player that penetrates better Number 15 on the polo sports sweater Chris Paul better pass the torch fast I'm the weather man on the court, the forecast Said it's gon' rain, I'ma bring pain Double team Dave Carter, bet I go lame 
I'm the king, LeBron better step off He kicked the door down, I'll blow the deck off No rookie in this league can get with me Most points, most assists, better make history History, history That's another 20-point game in the books, pushing your streak into double digits. That's not an easy thing to accomplish in this league. Where does that rate for you in terms of personal milestones? Well, to tell you the truth, uh, scoring over 20 points has been a necessity to win games lately. And I just commend my guys for giving me the ball and letting me play. Oh, it's up there for sure. I'm always working on keeping my numbers up. And this is the kind of streak that can really boost my points per game. It also means I've been playing well overall because it's pretty hard to get 20 points on an off night. I consider it a tribute to my level of play recently, and I'm, I'm going to do everything I can to bring it up another notch real soon. You dig me? I might have to go for 100 points the next game. You never know. Do y'all want to see 100 points? If you want to see 100 points from me next game, I want you to leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to leave this video a like. This is IKC signing out. Thanks for watching, and I'm out here, y'all. Peace!